Hello, hello, hello. This is Jewel Lennar and welcome to Lunch with Jewel. I help entrepreneurs to show up big and connect with their people. So today we're going to talk about this week. I'm kicking off a new format for my Facebook lives because I want to line up with my new product, Boss Assist. And so I thought, oh, it would be cool to make it um, each day focus on one component of being a boss. And so I came up with some standards for each of the letters in the word boss, and that's how my content will flow. So today is Monday. Monday is B for branded. And so we're going to talk about the journey to a brand. And I'm just going to share basically my journey. And then um, just for the other letters, O is for organized, where we're going to talk about time management and things to help you to be more organized. Um, S, it, the first S is for sustainability. And that is about putting systems and processes in place that will convert, that will grow with you and help you to scale. And then the second S on Thursday is is success minded because so much of being successful as an entrepreneur is right around that mindset and that will make or break you. And then Friday is just going to be kind of free for all. We'll see how that goes. So with that, let's get into the content for today. Branded. So Branding is something that I think it's kind of become a little bit like a buzzword, but um, all it means is your presence in the marketplace is what are you known as? What are you known for? What do people associate with you? Right. And so um, a lot of times you have a brand, whether you consciously, actively work to create the brand or not, you have one. So what for me, branding is more about connecting with how I perceive myself and how I want to be perceived in the marketplace as it's connected to my product. And so that it takes a lot of, I don't want to say soul searching. I think like most things in business as an entrepreneur, I know a lot of people plan things out, but my what I found is that no matter how much you plan, what you're going to do with your business, so much of it just evolves. It's a matter of being ready to be ready and then being ready when the right circumstances come and then being able to execute when those, those circumstances present themselves. There's so much of that that's in place, but it comes with you being ready. So um, with my brand, <laughs> I started out as Rise with Crystal. If you've been following me any length of time, you know, I changed my name. My name used to be Crystal Cotton and I changed it to Jewel T. Lenard um, last year. And so it was Rise with Crystal. And at the time it was, it came out of the fact that at the time I was just trying to be better. I didn't really know kind of what my business was. I was just moving forward and I just knew I needed to go up. So I thought, oh, and I needed, I needed, some, I felt like I needed something um, consistent for the way that I would appear and show up and, you know, online and different things with cards and teams and things like that. And so Rise with Crystal became kind of my brand. And that was around the Phoenix was, was the, the emblem. I should have show I should show pictures. I should have pictures, but I don't. Anyway, I'll post some pictures maybe. So um, and the phoenix was because of kind of the myth of the, the phoenix, the bird that burned itself up in fire and then came out new. And so I was looking at it as I was, you know, um, reinventing myself, becoming something different, um, completely different than I was before. <laughs> and if you actually look at pictures of me from before, wow, did I ever do that? All right. So, um, so that's one thing. And as, and that kind of evolved and I was going along kind of a nice little clip. And then I, I, um, and then I met a friend who I guess saw my marketing, um, abilities come out blossom, which actually, when I started reflecting on it, my first logo was for my mom. She's a seamstress and I hadn't even thought about it, but I made a logo for her. I don't know, shoot, like 40 years ago. And I didn't even know. So that's why it's so important to be in tune with yourself, man. So you know, so you're on the right path. Here I am, you know, like 30, 40 years later doing the thing I probably should have been done 30, 40 years ago, but nonetheless. So, um, and so they said, man, you know what? Why don't, what about get crystallized? You know, that's a little jazzy. I mean, it's a little bit, you'll admit it is a little more jazzy than 
Rise with Crystal, right? Or And then I had changed it to RWC Growth Ventures, you know, RWC Growth. And, and none of it was really snazzy, but get crystallized. I could kind of get around that. And then I started thinking about what I really wanted to do with my business. I really wanted to um, bring clarity in the marketing space because there, as a, there's so much stuff out there. There's so many products, so many people, so many consultants, so much training, so much this and that. And I have probably purchased all of it, right? And what I found in that process is that every single time I purchased a program or um, did a course or joined a group, there was always a piece missing. Like no one ever gave me like the whole picture of the system of marketing and what I was really trying to accomplish. Nobody. And so I wanted to bring clarity to um, to the marketing space. And I wanted to bring clarity to business owners in the sense of what do you really want to do? What are you trying to accomplish with marketing and how are you going to do it? Like, so clarity was a big thing. So then, um, and then I discovered, I, I discovered a tool that uh, a platform to help me in terms of just um, follow up and things like that. So as I started to progress, I, I, I moved more towards automation. I thought, oh, you know what? That's really my jam because I actually, I'm not a, 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 t a IT person. I'm not never been a developer, but I've always been techie. And so um, when I was introduced to the platform, combined that with my marketing and the, the graphic design um, skill set, I just saw that um, that ability to crystallize things was really, that was really in line. And then um, this is where the magic happens is from the perspective of, when someone automates something for you that you've been doing manually for a really long time and takes a ton of time from you, you feel like it's magic, right? I bring the magic. <laughs> so one day my brother was over and he um he he had never really been in my my workspace. He peeked in the door and he was like, Oh, so this is where the magic happens. And I thought, that's it, that's it, baby. This is where the magic happens, right? So that's a very unconventional. I didn't hire a consulting group. I didn't, you know, I didn't go through, spend three hours in a closed door trying to figure it out. It just evolved, right? And that's the way most things, To it's been my experience. That's the way most things in, in business happen. You just have to set out on the purpose and mission of moving forward. And then as you move towards what you're doing, then the thing you want starts moving towards you. It's like law of attraction. You either believe in it and you don't, but it's here, right? So as I begin to progress, then the things that I was seeking and things I needed to clarify my view of my brand started moving toward me and all, all of it came together. And so this is where the magic happens, baby. So I really enjoy the automation aspect of things. And so I want that to come through as part of my brand. It's like, oh, she can help me do things that I couldn't do before. She can help things happen, make me look like a big corporation when I'm really just a little guy. Yeah, that's magic. And that's me. So, and then, and then on the other side of that, there was a little spiritual component of it. So I like the stars and things because I'm a little bit of a star seed. So um, that part of my personality kind of comes through in the brand as well, because it's part of who I am. So that's how the, I would say the journey of my brand. I don't know if, you know, brand experts would necessarily agree with me, but I love it. So um, I would encourage you to kind of think about, you know, what have you evolved to in your business? What do people know you as? What do people say that you bring to them that maybe you hadn't considered before? That's your brand. And what your, your job is really just to come up with a way to formulate it so that you can consistently portray it in everything that you do. And then you're golden and you can move on. I mean, you always are moving on, like you're moving no matter what, but then you're moving on in that direction and you have a clarity. And so everything that you do, whether it's social media, offline, online, everything that you could do can kind of encapsulate that brand. And you don't have to think about that anymore. Okay. So, um, and then you don't have to keep the same brand. Like I, I would, I don't know if 10 years from now, um, I would keep the same one. Maybe I'll change it to something else. Maybe I'll become GCA. I don't know. Um, um, but the point is that you, I've evolved to this point 
And now I'm going to continue to evolve and I'm con going to continue to be more of who I am, right? So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. If you've been confused about branding or you're kind of looking, you think you, you've been going on this journey and you think you're off because you haven't hired someone to help you, um, don't worry about it. The most important person where it, when it comes to determining who your brand is, is really you and your customers and what you're perceived as in the marketplace. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope it's been helpful for you. Comment below what you think your brand is. And um, I will see you next time on Lunch with Jewel. Bye for now.